Are you wondering whether Fay Farm is worth the 60 US dollar price point? I'm sorry, I can't really help you with making that decision. I think that's a decision you really have to decide for yourself. But what I can do is share some of my most favorite things about Fay Farm and why I think these 10 things I'm going to share with you make it the ultimate cozy game. Before we get started, hi, my name is Kay. Welcome to my Cozy Gaming channel. We play all things Cozy Gaming here, and I am live Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you'd love to join us, we'd love to see you there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right in. Okay, to start, and I think one of the number one things a cozy game needs is character customization, and Fay Farm does not fall short in allowing you to create a fairy that looks just like you, a fairy or a fae. I don't know, is it fairy or fae? Anyways, they have done an amazing job. You have different body types, sizes, all kinds of different facial features, hairstyles, hair colors, skin colors. I mean, literally, you can customize to your heart's content. The only thing they're missing, in my opinion, is a little nose, but you know, we can get past that. We can get past that. I just think that they've done a great job with allowing you to really pick and choose exactly how you want your character to look. Um, and it's just really inclusive. And I think that's so important for all games, but especially in the cozy gaming space. It's a super important part of making things feel unique and personal. So I think they've done a great job and I'm pretty sure most people would enjoy that part of this game. Next guys is jumping and movement. Look at this. Look at this. Jumping, movement, swimming, all of the good things. I absolutely love swimming in the game. You go from running on land as a fairy to a <laughs> mermaid or a dolphin, however you want to call it. I just love swimming. You bounce around on these little purple mushroom-like things that just throw you up into the air. They do somersaults and um, backflips like you just saw there. And I don't know, running and jumping just feels good. It's one of my favorite things about a cozy game that I don't know why jumping is so important, but I just really, really like it. And it just feels really good in this game. The next thing that I think makes this a really great cozy game, guys, is the customization that you have. So you don't only have the customization to your character, but you can customize just about anything that that you design or create. As you can see, most of this stuff in here are different colors than what they are when you first start out the game. I'm gonna show you just as an example how you can customize. So all of these things in here are different colors that you can use to customize any of the furniture and things that you craft in this game. And I just love that so much. Look at this. You can change three regions on this item. Every, re every item has its own regions that you can customize and it doesn't only go for furniture guys you can go into your menu and any outfit that you buy or get can be customized so let's just take the outfit that i have on for example we can edit colors here you can change pretty much everything. I just love customization in general. And I think that's so important for this game specifically because multiplayer is a big part of this game, which is something we'll get into a little bit later in the video. And it allows us to have a super unique home plot because everybody can change and color customize pretty much everything. I love it so much. The next thing that I think makes this super cozy is the fact that storage is basically unlimited. Now we're used to all of our normal farm sims. We have to craft up multiple storage boxes and things like that. I think in Wildflowers is one of the other cozy games that I've played recently that has unlimited storage and it's just a nice feature to have. Being able to just put as many things as you want away into a storage bin is just really relaxing. You don't have the stress of having to create another bin and find a place to put it and stress out about which bin you need to go to to find X item. It's all in one place and it's unlimited. You can add as much stuff in here as you want. I love it and I love unlimited storage. Now this next one guys is huge when it comes to cozy gaming in my opinion and I would really love to see more cozy games do this in the future but when you are going around foraging and mining and all that stuff your tool ring automatically changes to the tool that you need when you go up to this the designated item. So you can see I'm chopping wood here so I have my axe but when I run over to this rock my pickaxe is automatically pulled out and I just love that so much. It makes things so easy. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, when, but in reality, it can be a little bit tedious and just taking that away and just making it an automatic feature, I think just makes it feel so much easier and just nicer in general. So I love that. And now that I'm thinking about it, I also love the fact that your tool ring does not actually affect your storage or your inventory on your person. So normally your pickaxe and all your tools and all that stuff will actually take up like the first row of your 
person's inventory. And in this game, it does not. It's its own separate little area and you keep all of your inventory slots open for the things that you really need. So it's just great. I think they've done a great job with the tools in this game and makes it feel super, super cozy. Now we know all of our cozy favorites like Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, Disney Dreamlight Valley, Palea, all the good games have some form of crafting and crafting is important for all cozy games, I feel like. However, the one thing that I really like that Fay Farm did is that you can run around and basically find recipes to craft different things. I'm, I'm gonna insert a clip from my live stream to show off how you can find these recipes. They can be anywhere from inside buildings, around when you're exploring, or on top of the roofs of buildings. Um, and they all are different little recipes that you can eventually craft. And I just like the idea of exploring and finding different recipes laying around. I think that's super fun. And the recipes are really, really cute. So. I like that little touch in it, just, you know, searching around to find cool recipes. I think that it's really nice, really nice touch. Now, I don't want to say this next thing sets this game apart because there are other cozy games that have a multiplayer feature. I just feel like we don't see multiplayer very often. So Fay Farm's multiplayer is really, really cool. It looks like you have um, a, a couple of different options. One is world invites. So you, you can send someone a request to join you in your game or you can host online as well, which I think is really cool. But what I love most about about the multiplayer option is just the fact that you don't have to start a new save in order to have friends over. You can start your regular save, you can be building up your, you know, your island and things, and you can have friends over at any time. You can have them come visit yourself or you can be invited to visit their home. And I just think that that's a wonderful, a wonderful touch. Are you excited about multiplayer? Let me know in the comments below. Oh my gosh, this is my first time seeing rain in the game and it looks like I'm cold? Oh no. She's super cold running around. That's such a cute feature. I didn't even know that. But yes, we love seasons. I guess we can go ahead and add that to the list. I said 10 things, but it seems to be 11. I love that there are going to be different seasons and also what uh, weather patterns. But anyways, farm animals are also a wonderful, wonderful addition. Right now, I only have a chiku and a cottontail available because that's what I've been able to purchase so far. But there are a variety of different animals you can have on your farm. But that's not the thing that I think is cozy. Okay, the coziest part about it all is that you can have your little farm friends follow you around. So it's almost like you have your own personal pet too. So in addition to taking care of them and feeding them and getting different resources from your farm animals, which is always super sweet, I love it so much. Just as a side note, it gives me like Harvest Moon vibes, which just brings me back and warms my heart. But they can follow you around on your adventure. So wherever you're going, your little farm friend can follow you. And I just think that is so sweet. I love it so much, you know, cause it's always nice to have like a companion or pet, but it's a different way of going about it. If you can have a farm animal follow you, if that makes sense. Okay, so now we're all super familiar with the um, box outside of your house where you sell all your things. You can just kind of go in, drop off your things and they sell at the end of the day, kind of like Stardew Valley. Um, but listen, let me talk about this way of selling. I love the idea of coming to a busy market and using these market tables as a place to sell your goods. I love that so much. So you can literally just place just about anything on these tables like so you can fill up every single table around um, the center here and at the end of the day everything that you've placed on these tables will sell and you'll get your money by the end of the day i love that i don't know i just feel like it's a nice cozy touch it makes you feel more connected to the community inside of the game all of the npcs are kind of hanging around and talking and it just it feels more realistic to me and that's what makes it really cozy for me so I, I enjoy that a lot. All right, friends, last but not least, the 10th thing on this list is what I would like to call no stress crafting and building. I also mentioned this in my tip video, but I just think it's amazing that everything that you craft or create can be reclaimed. So you can see why right here I can hit reclaim and I get all of my resources back. I get all my plant fiber back, I get all my copper ore back, and if I just wanna recreate it again, maybe it was an accident, maybe I wanna craft it over again, I can go ahead and just set it right back down. I love it because I'm the type of person that I can be very indecisive, especially when it comes to decorating in game. And so not having the stress of like, oh my gosh, I put this down and now it's gotta be here forever. We can move it around, but I can also just take it back and get all my resources back. And that's amazing. That's cozy. That's stress-free. 
that's relaxing. And I think it is an absolute necessity to have on this list. Alrighty, friends, we're cold and wet, so it's probably time to go. I hope you've enjoyed this list of 10 things that makes this the ultimate cozy farm sim. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you are looking for some more Fay Farm content, I have two videos linked right here that I think you'll enjoy, including the five things that I think needs improvement or needs to change in the game. So go ahead and feel free to watch that now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Eee!